Hello and welcome to MSHA Tag. Today we are continuing our module tool programming series and in this video we will discuss the program interface. So what is program interface and uh, what the objective of this video? Uh, we have to discuss the four basic points of uh, uh, the program interface. First one is what is GI title, graphic user, user interface title and how we can create it. The second thing is identification of function keys because it is the most important part of uh, uh, interface and that are the function keys. We will discuss in detail and we will do some practical example on live on the system. After that we have to discuss the GUI status and how to create it and last but not least um, the how to process the function code because the backbone of each thing is, are the function code so we will discuss function code in detail. Let us move on. First of all we have to discuss the what is GUI title and how we can create it. Any type of screen needs some interface from which a user can interact to achieve his task. In SAP, the interface consists of GUI status and the GUI title. And, uh, if, and first of all, we are discussing the GUI title. As you are seeing on the screen on the left side, there is written a sale order display. The sale order display is a dynamic uh, title, GUI title of this screen, and we can set is set it by using the command set title bar, and then the uh, name of the title will be written. So, what is the interface? So, every screen uh, in in every uh, programming language needs some interaction from the user. So, then the user interact with the application and perform a task according to the business requirement. So, SAP provide a platform uh, and a, a platform of interface. So, then the uh, the programmer can create a customized and uh, customized interface by using this option of GI status and the GI title. So, as far as GI title is concerned, if we are uh, if we discuss an example, you can easily understand. Uh, let's say we are going to uh, create. We have created a screen for to display some information. So we will uh, set the title of the screen as a uh, display like here sale order display and if a user wants to change some data or to some edit into the uh, into the same uh, into the same screen like sale order uh, sale order change so we will create uh, we will create, uh, we will uh, set the title gui title to the sale order change so, how we can create a GUI title? It is very simple. There are three basic ways of creating a GUI title. We will do practically in later in this video. By using object, number one is by using, by using object list in object navigator. What is object navigator? Uh, you know uh, when we use SEAT and uh, uh, SEAT, we SEAT provide the ob list of object regarding to the related to the uh, to the program. So, each object uh, were clearly mentioned in the object list. And the second thing is by using menu painter using transition code SE41. We will use SE41 um, um, and uh, in as, as you know the SE41 is the menu painter transition code. From this we can also create a, a GUI title. And the third but not least from the forward navigation. What is forward navigation? We will also perform uh, some. Uh, we will also perform this option uh, um, practically on the system. So forward navigation is the uh, is the thing that when we write the command set title bar and then we will use the name of the uh, name of the title. So if we double click on the name of the title, the system will automatically uh, forward navigation to the uh, required requirement and then step by step step by step we perform uh, the uh, related uh, related uh, related information we provide related information to the sap and finally we achieve the task and finally we create a gi title let's move on so some restrictions uh, from the sap is uh, mentioned here 
the title name, the GUI title name should be under 20 characters. Also, we can use variable in the title by using end person as a placeholder like set title bar with uh, with end person 2 or end person 8. The end person 2 and the end person 8 are the name of the placeholder and uh, end person is using is showing that the title is the dynamic. So, it can be same until we set another. The variable sy title has the current title. You know sy title is the system variable and it holds the current uh, GI title uh, from the uh, from the program or when we set the title bar of uh, any screen the SY title uh, will be automatically uh, settled. Let's move straight to the SAP system and find what are the GI title and how SAP are using it. So let's move on. Here it is. Now uh, this is a screen of uh, sale order display initial screen. So the thing which uh, are uh, highlighting here is the display sale order initial screen. So this is a GUI title of the, of this screen, and if we want to uh, change this uh, uh, this title, we will use the set title bar uh, set title bar statement, and uh, uh, we will also discuss and explore the GUI status. Uh, let's uh, discuss very uh, very shortly and let very briefly that what are the, what is the GI status. Here it is. What is GI status? How to create it? Technically, a GI status gives a different set of interactive options to users such as menu bar, key assignment, and the application toolbar. So we will discuss and we will understand what are the menu bar, what is key assignment, and what are the application toolbars. So, if as you are seeing in the screen, the three things are mentioned here, the uh, environment, extra, go to and edit object are the menu bar and after that there are the another toolbar which, uh, which said to be a standard toolbar and finally last but not least there are also existence of another bar which is called application toolbar. And last but not least, the other thing exit uh, exists behind all these menu bar and standard toolbar and application toolbar uh, are the key settings which are very important and we will discuss and explore later in this video. So some important points are mentioned here that uh, the GI status can be set as from the command set PF status and also user choices function functions using the mouse <coughs> a single menu bar can be used by more than one gui status it means that when we create a menu bar it can be used in multiple gui statuses uh, the next thing is a menu bar consists of different separate menu we can also categorize uh, the menu bar uh, into the up to the three levels and uh, by using some area and by using some separate separation. So we will also explore uh, practically uh, this option also. The key assignment and application toolbar are sub object of function key setting. It means that the function key settings are uh, the, the two objects uh, are lying under the function key setting. One, one is application toolbar and the other thing is key assignment. The next point is each status contains a single application toolbar. It means a status can only have a single application toolbar which is lying here. So let's move straight to the system and find explore what a GI status lively. Here it is. As we have discussed there is a menu bar sale document edit go to environment system help system and help uh, are the uh, are the default uh, menu uh, menu bar in every screen if we didn't uh, create the another menus and the two 
this menu uh, will be automatically in every SAP screen or one is system to a system menu bar and other thing other menu bar is help menu bar. So, uh, you can also find that here a list of uh, list contain another menu, another menu and it also be categorized at the three level. Here this is a first level and this is a second level. As you see this is an example of uh, a perfect uh, uh, menu level that this is a first level and when we click on this we, we move to the second level and after that there is a last level of menu bar. So, we will discuss uh, detail later in this uh, video or the next video. Uh, first of all, uh, you can also see there is a shortcut or there is a, uh, there is a character highlighted in every, uh, in every option of menu bar which, uh, which is user to move straight to the, to that option. Also, it is also showing the, uh, in the, sh the, uh, the key assignment which is, uh, uh, which, uh, which are also shows in the menu bar which is shift plus F3 mean we can exit if we press shift with the combination of F3 function key 3. Also for the cancel we can use F12, we can use back by using the F3, we can use and so on. So this is the menu bar. So the next the next uh, the next thing is the the standard uh, standard toolbar which is uh, lying here like uh, the cancel the exit and the back back option are exist directly into the system this is called the uh, standard toolbar and after that uh, there is a GUI title and last but not least there is an existence of uh, GUI there is an existence of application toolbar which we can also customize and we can also uh, manage according to the transition or according to the business needs. We will create each, uh, each and every sub object like we will create menu bar, we will assign function keys and we will uh, create the application toolbar and in detail and uh, in in this series video and this series next video so if you like this video and learn something from this video do click on the like button also uh, also click on the subscribe button so then you can see uh, my next video so uh, so let's meet into another new video till then bye bye take care